haven't started this vlog yet, but if I haven't, hello, welcome to a new vlog. If I have, this is awkward. Um, but I figured I would show you what I'm doing right now, which is a face mask. Um, I think I said in the last vlog, which I'll link up in the corner, that I got this weird breakout. And I'm still not sure what it was from, but it has left me with some severely dry patches on my skin. So I figured it was the perfect time to dry this Tony Moly I'm Green Tea layering mask thing. So I'm going to try it out and let you guys know what I think about it and I'll kind of show you how it works but it's two steps so it's got little green tea leaf patches up here and then the sheet mask here. So I'm going to put the patches on and then I'll show you and then I'll put the whole mask on. So I just wash my face. I'm going to spray it with a little bit of my Mario Desco spray um, and then put the mask on. So that's what I'm going to do. Because these little patches came on um, this kind of like meshy weird thing which is kind of nice. Um, these are what the patches look like so I kind of put them where I'm the driest and I'm gonna add um, the sheet mask now. Okay so this is what it looks like it's a really thin nice mask so I'm gonna let this sit for 10 to 20 minutes. Um, I had a ton of snare in it which was nice so I'm gonna sit and see hopefully this helps with my dry patches. Okay, it's been 20 minutes, so I'm going to peel this off. Oop, the one leaf came off. The other one's still sticking. Whoop. Super awkward. Sorry, it's hard to take off the mask and talk at the same time. That felt really good. Really nice moisturizing. It actually feels amazing. So I'm going to finish up my skincare, and I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, I was gonna film a video today, but my skin is still kind of healing from whatever happened to it. Um, so I'm gonna put off filming till Friday, I think. I don't want to put makeup on over it because it's still healing. There's still some, like, open pimples. Um, so, yeah, it's not a good idea to put makeup on over stuff like that, even though you might want to. It's just never a good idea. So I'm gonna put off filming until Friday, but I thought I would check in and say hello. Hopefully this, um heals well though I mean this side there's no like pimples left it's just kind of like red and dry and this side has like a few little bumps but it's mostly just red and dry so I'm hoping I won't have any more breakouts and then all these scars will just like heal and um all my products will help speed up that um hyperpigmentation to go away so we'll see um but yeah I'm just kind of working getting some other things done today it has been raining for like three days in the pacific northwest so <sighs> very annoying but yeah just wanted to fill you in with what was going on and I will check in with you later hi everybody welcome to my Thursday I've just been kind of getting some work done this morning and then of course it's Thursday so that means humane society day so I'm just sitting in the parking lot a little bit of time before my um shift starts and I have to put on my dog walking shoes I have specific shoes that I only wear when I'm walking dogs at the humane society because it's a good way to prevent uh, like the spread of disease and stuff and for like my animals at home. So I keep them like in a bag in my car all the time and they're I only wear them when I'm going to the Humane Society. So yeah, um, but yeah, I gotta put those on and then I'm gonna go in. Um, I got my fanny pack. I don't know if I showed you guys this yet, but I bought this fanny pack off Amazon and um, and uh, it's great for walking the dogs so I don't have to like juggle a billion things. I like to have some treats and dog bags, obviously, or poop. Uh, my cell phone and like a wall, my wallet with my ID and stuff in it and my keys. But it's like not feasible to bring a purse and like I don't like, it's just easier not to have to like go to the locker room and lock it up and stuff like that. I'd rather just like have a fanny pack. I just keep it all around my waist and it's really just like convenient and hands free that way I don't have to like juggle things while I'm trying to walk the dogs so it's very convenient so I suggest if you're looking to volunteer and as a dog walker you get one uh, if I can find this one in particular I will link it down below it's been really great I love it um but what else was I gonna say I don't know I think that's it but I just want to say hey and check in with you guys on this rainy Thursday it looks like the rain is just gonna stop just in time for me to walk the dogs, which is perfect. So, super psyched. Not very warm, though. My car says 48, which for April, that sounds very cold. I don't like it. But it could be better. I know the Midwest is getting snow. Ha. Ha. Um, but, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, I just did this makeup look. I will leave the link up to the 
to it in the corner. Wow, I can't talk. Can't talk after all that recording. And I'll leave it down below as well. Um, yeah, so I filmed this makeup look. I'm gonna go clean the house and then I think I figured out what's causing me to have this reaction. So I'm gonna go return the culprit to Ulta and get something new. So I'll take you along and I kind of I'll show you what I think is making me break out. Because I think I've I think um it always gets better overnight and then I wake up and I put something on my face and then it gets worse throughout the day. So um yeah, I tried some new makeup in this video though, and I think it's looking pretty darn good pretty happy with it um but yeah like I said I'll leave a link to this makeup look down up in the corner down below so I'm gonna go uh oh I have to edit this video too <laughs> I got so much to do today and I'm so tired um so yeah maybe I'll edit really quick because I need to drink the rest of my smoothie because I have not eaten and I'm starving and then I'll clean yeah I think that's the plan so I will see you in a little bit Okay, I'm sitting outside Ulta, um, and these are the two things I'm going to return. They're both Derma E products. Um, I think the vitamin C is what gave me this horrible reaction, and I'm just going to return the overnight peel as well, um, just because the vitamin C serum was so bad on my skin, I'm not sure that the peel will work either. So I'm going to return those two things, and I'll show you what I'm going to replace them with. Okay, so what I'm replacing it with is my mad hippie serum this did not do anything bad to my skin only good things so i got the vitamin c serum and then i also got their exfoliating serum i'm just gonna give it a try um i mean i love the mad hippie vitamin c one so much that i'm hoping the exfoliate one will be just as good so yeah i will let you know how i go i think i might do a 30 day skincare test on this vitamin c or on the exfoliating serum once my skin kind of like gets back to a normal place um I'm gonna use that and see what happens. So I think that's my plan. Um, but I'm gonna go inside, make the bed, and then hopefully take Tahoe for, eat some lunch actually, and then hopefully take Tahoe for like a little walk because I think today is gonna be the only nice, semi-nice day. So that's kind of the plan. So I'm sitting here editing um, Saturday's video, which I think I already said I'd link up in the corner down below a couple times now. Anyway, I just wanted to show you kind of what it's looking like. My makeup's been on for like five hours. So I definitely can see some like pores and stuff, but nothing's like moved. My mascara still looks really good. I probably just need like a pore filling primer. Usually with full coverage products, I do need a pore filling primer. I don't have huge pores, but when they're like full coverage and they tend to be a little bit matter, my pores just like are emphasized. Um, but I think it looks great still so far. Um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying how my makeup looks, but I wanted to give you guys a little update on <laughs> how it looks. Tao saw another dog. He always gets really excited when there's other dogs outside our window. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Okay, so it's almost 8 o'clock now. I just want to show you what it looks like. It does only look like a little heavy and pory here, but I think a pore filling primer would help that. I think it looks really good though. The eyelashes still look good. Everything looks good. So pretty happy with all my purchases. What we do when we're bored, apparently. We just went to the mall. Now we're going to IKEA. All right, me and Tahoe are in the car. We're waiting for Matt to come out of QFC, but it is rainy and gross today, like pouring down rain all day. So um, we just walked around South Center Mall for a while, and then we walked around IKEA for a while. Um, we didn't get anything at either place, but we just wanted to get out of the house, so that's what we did. Um, and now Matt's getting stuff to make margaritas. And then I, we're just gonna have like a date night at home because yeah we just don't feel like going out so it'll be fine but we're just waiting for matthew to get the stuff at the store right tahoe tahoe come here no he just waits he usually just like stares out the window Hopefully, i don't know if you can see him but that's what he does he just like stares out the window until matt comes back he's like dad where did you go tahoe hey tahoe nope he's like i much watch for dad Okay, everyone, I'm going to end the vlog here. I know it probably was a really short one again. Um, honestly, my skin, and I think I did some research. I think I'm purging right now. Um, I don't know what from, to be honest. I think it might still be what I showed you earlier in the vlog. And my skin had started purging from that new product. Um, and it's just, it's got to continue the cycle. And honestly, it's just made, it's made me really self-conscious and, um, uh, kind of triggered my anxiety and depression a little bit, which I know might sound weird to some people, but for me, uh, my skin was getting so clear and was looking so good. Um, I was gaining a lot of confidence, and then this happened and kind of just like deflated me. Um, 
so I know that might sound silly and like vain to some people but if you have gone through acne and then had a clear spout and then you get this like you get acne again you you might understand um it's definitely something hard and like people with clear skin their whole life definitely do not understand it it's very makes you very self-conscious um but anyway I'm gonna end the vlog here um I hope you guys had a great week and a great weekend or whenever you're watching this um I'm gonna start a new vlog actually right now but I hope to see you again soon please subscribe and give this video a like if you liked it and I will see you in my next venture bye